So for joining us, if you could just uh, introduce yourself to everyone, tell us a little bit about your job title, what agency you're affiliated with, if you've been involved in the CESU or LTER networks, and just how long you've been working for a federal agency. Uh, my name is Donato Sarad. I am with the Everglades National Park. I am an ecologist by trade. My PhD was in actual environmental sciences from Florida a &M University. I've been down here in South Florida since 2005, but I didn't get picked up by the National Park Service until 2008. So I've been here for about 16 years as of February, 2024. I spend most of my time dealing with water quality issues throughout the Everglades. And so could you tell us a little bit about um, how much of your job is in the office versus outside the office, uh, like being in the field? So my present position has me in the office consistently. Um, I, I, the times that I actually leave my office are normally for tours with higher level uh, uh, personnel from different agencies to discuss projects that we're working on, to show them the features that are out in the field, what we're trying to actually fix, any restoration efforts that we're trying to modify. That's generally when I'm going out into the field. I do also have a couple of projects that I run myself. And so when I introduce those PIs to the project, I tend to take them out into the field to see the features that they're gonna be dealing with, to give them an idea how they're gonna to have to go about accessing those locations. Historically, when I first got here, like I talked about that initially, I was in a helicopter pretty much every month flying around to go collect samples. I was in airboats driving around 140,000 acres of marshlands to go collect samples and deploy different equipment to ensure that we were getting the data that we needed. So most of my job now is in the field, I mean, is in the office. I spent the earlier portion of my career, I would say about 30% in the field and 70% in the office. And so now the office work entails a lot of data analysis, synthesis of that data, reporting that data, writing briefs, memos, stuff like this to communicate to higher ups so we can translate the information to everybody who needs to make decisions. Awesome. And so in the position that you have now, do you have um, any supervisory roles? I am a supervisor now. I have a very small team of two, actually one right now, one of them quit on me recently. So I'm replacing that. And that job announcement just hit the streets this morning. Nice. So you guys can go out on uh, uh, usajobs.gov and you can see that job posted this morning. Um, so I spend a lot of time managing my staff and helping direct them on projects that we need to accomplish. And so how many hours a week do you work and what is the pay scale for your position? So I might be an oddball, but I tend to work 40 to 60 hours a week, depending on what the demand is at the time. Um, if we have stuff focusing on the consent decree, uh, that week is going to probably be a long week. If we have new projects that just popped up on us, that's going to be a long week. The scale, the scale of the range of my uh, salaries, when I first started in this position, I'm a GS-13. Um, it mm -hmm. started at 110. You have to recognize that that has a locality pay adjustment is expensive as I'll get out to live out in South Florida. So they have boosted our salaries a little bit to account for, accommodate for that. Mm -hmm. The top of that scale is 135000 Well, thank you so much, Donato, for telling us about your career and we will see you at the panel.